Hello full of adventurers and collectors, Fumaholic here. So today we're going to be doing another 1-6 scale custom project. Now, I recently ordered a bunch of stuff to create a 1-6 scale military female figure and first off we had the head sculpt and kind of what inspired this whole project. Uh, this is a Super Duck Tifa head sculpt that they recently came out with. It's not entirely accurate to Tifa so I figured I'd be able to, you know, use it to make this project. And moving along here, we I wanted to go the route of what I did for the Laura custom, but I didn't want to go through the same process of, you know, hunting down those yoga pants. So I found these black leggings or black tights that I used as leggings. And something interesting about these is that they have the actual foot part, so you can use them with feet. And I ordered this from Novu, Novu? I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it, Novu Toys. And uh, they seem to have a whole bunch of 1-6 scale uh, female clothing items. So I'll leave links if I can to all these uh, stores that I bought from. And uh, here's a look at their business card. But yeah, I didn't have any problems with these services and I most likely will go through them again and of course big bad toy stores you know it's a great place to get you know designer figures and even these uh one six scale bodies and for this project in particular i was recommended uh s38a i believe is the actual name and i wanted to do a quick uh shout out to uh chris p collects i believe is his name he's the one that really helped inspire me in this project and seeing his photographs really you know brought to light the amount of detail these figures can have so if you can feel free to check them out i'll probably leave a link for them down below now this is my first time actually buying a tb leak body new so i was unfamiliar with the paperwork that was involved with it and it's also nice to have because it showcases the limitations of the bodies and reading along here you get to see the kind of poses and everything that you can do with the body Now, also included with the body is a, a de decent amount of hands and alternate feet in case you wanted to use heels or something. Something I'm not going to do, but it's nice to have that option, I suppose. I wanted to showcase the body compared to the Laura body that I had, and something that surprised me was that uh, this body is a lot shorter than the Laura one, and I did not anticipate that, to be honest with you, but... It works for this project, but for future reference, I'm kind of curious as to whether or not TB League is going in that direction in terms of scale. In all honesty, I would like to get a body similar to this for Laura because I would always imagine her shorter for some reason, but that's a project for another day. Now here's a look at the leggings and a random bra that I had for the Laura custom, but I did end up removing that black bra because it did stain the body. Knowing me, I, my luck is pretty bad, so... You know, I make the mistakes so you don't have to. <laughs> but yeah, you can see here the difficult, different physique that this body has compared to the Laura one that I had. So it's nice to see that TB League is actually making the effort to get diversity in their, you know, body sizes. Now here's a look at the figure together and I ended up stealing the sweater from Laura because I figured I was going to get more accurate clothing at some point so she's going to sit in the parts bin for a while. I also took the gloves as well because I didn't feel like buying another set. Now here's a look at her with a different kit that I put together. This is just parts that I had from my accessories bin as you saw in the last custom project so nothing too extravagant. And I do like the shoes that I used for her. Not sure, entirely sure where I got them from, but I always thought that they were too small for male bodies, so I figured I'd use it here. But yeah, I really do like how this came out. Um, this was, was, wasn't really inspired by anything. I just saw the head sculpt and really liked how it looked on this ter uh, particular body type. So I bought the pieces and was able to kit bash this. And the beret, I think, came from a Sideshow Sergeant Rock, not Sergeant Rock, 
rock and roll from gi joe but yeah i'll probably leave a link to the stores that i use like i said and yeah i you know I'll just kind of give you an idea of with these tough bison bodies or tb league bodies the amount of uh customization you can do with them so yeah thank you all for watching this quick look at my custom 1/6 scale military figure if you'd like to see more please like comment and or subscribe i'd very much appreciate it i'll see you all next time Thank you.